similar to Kajapucha. It's uh, instead of 20 seconds of introduce your slides, you do um, 20 seconds of intense cardio ex exercise, and then 10 seconds of rest. And it's our interval. So that's eight. The total of eight in a four week, uh, four minutes. Uh, so you might ask why you want to do this instead of going to gym and work out. This is effective, and it only take for a minute. And you can take, you can do it everywhere you want. And all research also showed it's uh, meet the guidelines for improving health and losing weight. So that may be a very good reason why you want to do it. And you can also get an app for free and for Android user and iPhone user. It's just simply type Tabata timer. And this app will count down every 20 seconds and 10 seconds of your workout. And then um, um, there's a lot of version of Tabata. I'm going to introduce my own version of Tabata. And the first thing I would do is the launch. Just, you just kind of <coughs> put one, your one foot in front and other foot in a toe at the uh, back. And then you jump and switch uh, your feet every time you do the jump. And then you do that for 20 seconds. And uh, there's 10 seconds rest. And then you go to the second uh, movement. So my second movement is a jump squat. You just kind of do the normal uh, squat. And then you jump after every uh, squat you do. And also do a 20 seconds of that and 10 seconds of rest. And the third thing I do is um, burpees. Um, a burpees, the most, I think it's more hard to do. You just kind of, uh, you, what you do is you push your hands beside your body and then uh, knees, and then you, you do a position like push up, is, but you open your legs wider than uh, a push up, and then you just kind of jump. And, and one smooth, smooth, smooth you will complete this. And the final one is uh, a very simple normal push up. So uh, after you've done this four movement with ten, 20 seconds, 10, 10 seconds of rest, you will get two minutes. And then you repeat this again. So you get the total of four minutes, which is a uh, normal Tabata uh, workout. And F5 will get it going from the start if you want. Alright, so from about the time I started eighth grade, whenever anyone had asked me about my future, I would reply to them that I would study architecture at Syracuse. From a very young age, I was adept with designing blueprints and visualizing space in my head. And much to the chagrin of my father, every year or so, I would come up with a blueprint of my room and decide that all the furniture needed to be moved around. So he would have to sacrifice an afternoon and help me move everything around. So I quickly ascended from drawing these blueprints and coming up with these visual images in my head to actually making life-size sets for the drama department at my local high school. One of these you can see behind me is for a musical called Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, and it's one of my proudest accomplishments. 
So in the following years, um, I would visit Syracuse University for the first time during the summer of my 10th grade year, and I would preview their architecture program. Everything about my experience was great from the people I talked to on campus, and just the overall atmosphere, which was what really got me hooked on Syracuse as a community. But when the time came to preview their architecture program, I was met with something of a conundrum. Where I had envisioned blueprints and 3D models everywhere, there were these complex architectural drawings and 3D abstract structures that were just well beyond my capacity. So I quickly realized that possibly architecture at Syracuse wasn't going to be the thing for me. But having already met all the people here and sampled the, everything that Syracuse had to offer, I was dead set on coming here and studying in some form. So while at Syracuse, I also toured the bookstore. And I remember having a joking argument with my father over what kind of computer would be best for a college student. And I remember during this argument rattling off a list of facts about RAM and processing speed and all sorts of things. My mother, who hated these arguments, was probably just hoping to defuse the situation, so she commented, well, if you know so much about computers, why shouldn't you just, you know, go here and study them? And like I said, she might have just tried to defuse the argument, but she was right. In the previous year, I had designed my own computer and built it from scratch after being dissatisfied with the performance that I could get from pre-built computers. So from then on, it was decided I was going to come to Syracuse and study IT. So previously, I had never thought of building computers as a hobby, just something I would do with my friends from time to time, um, trying out new creative formats, like trying to cram an entire computer into a shoebox. But little did I know that careers in the IT field were booming. Jobs were popping up everywhere, especially close to my hometown in DC. So during the end of my high school years, I would apply to Syracuse University. This was the only school that I applied to, so kind of a big risk on my part. And thankfully, I ended up getting into Syracuse to study IT here at the iSchool. And this was also a huge relief to my parents because I didn't exactly have a backup plan in case I didn't get accepted. So most people can say that arguing never got them anywhere. But for me, arguing has been a huge part of my life. And it's something that I will say look forward to in terms of like a fun, joking conversation. In the end, I can say with confidence that I stand here before you today in part because of an argument. Rosie, can you review this one, please? For Rosie? Yeah, I have you a couple, a couple coming up, right. in a couple. Okay. I, the reviewers list: I have Rosie, then Nick, Zach, Devin, and Liam. famous 
Stomp the Yard, which featured Chris Brown and Columbus Short, um, School Days, which was directed by Spike Lee, and Drumline, which featured Nick Cannon. That was like one of his big, one of his very first um, acting features. Uh, so how I began stepping, as you guys can see on the screen, that is my church. Um, I actually started stepping when I was about 10 years old at my church back in Connecticut, and we would perform every like third Sunday. It was a small youth group. There was probably about like 15 of us. Um, and we would practice every week and just a great way to get to know people in a different setting. Um, so over the years, I've actually transitioned from stepping into dancing. Um, due to the lack of like stepping that was available to me in Connecticut, a very small suburb, um, there wasn't much to do in terms of stepping. However, when I came to Syracuse, I actually learned that there's a very well-known step, step team on this campus known as Black Break. Uh, so my sorority sister is currently the president of organization Black Race, um, and because of that I've actually gone to different events that they've held on campus um, just to support her. But my sorority is competing in the Step Show, which is actually this weekend, um, and it's held by our council and PHC, um, and we've been practicing for a few weeks, and I can't wait to show everyone what I did, what I still got, so thank you. Because of 
of that, I have a really strong bond with my dad and my brother from this uh, as we got to drive along the coastal uh, different like rims of the Teton, see sunsets along the, the country. And it also gives you time to see the beauty that this country actually has. Um, there's <coughs> a lot of stuff that has just been, that you don't even realize, that looks like other planets. This is in Utah, Bryce Canyon, uh, and Canyonlands. Uh, and you really get to see how much natural beauty this country has that you don't even realize it when you just kind of stay around um, where you are. So next time when you're daydreaming and thinking of a vacation as a faraway place in Italy or there, think about the, like, the natural beauty that this country has itself to offer. Um, a lot of beauty is just an interstate away. Thank you. Matt Brad is, is last and um, uh, Devin. Is Devin? Thank you. Can you review the very last one, Bradley coming up after this? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I don't I don't really know. I don't know if he's going or not. Tell you what, why don't you do also do uh, Bradley? Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm not quite sure we'll have the numbers don't quite come out right, but the, my original list went to hell anyways in the first two seconds, so. Okay. <coughs> All right, Matt, if you're set. <coughs> hey, good evening, everyone. I'm Matt Hawkins. Um, picking this topic was very easy 